we always mention people's past. And that's not what God does. Mr. Wendy P. Williams. I mean, Pendy. Pendy. Pendy, Prince Sword! I I I Let me eat my mu I ain't cursing today, but I'ma eat my mother pickle for a second, cause I got something to say. I got something to say. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-mm good. God already told us that. He placed our sins into the sea of forgetfulness. So how can you remember that remember something that God already forgot? Stupid. How can you blast a bunch of rappers and interview a bunch of rappers that all they do is talk about shooting and killing? Then continue to mention somebody that actually did that who served their time and, and paid their, due to their debts to society. But that's why, that's why Kevin was on that island chilling and I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin said, wait a minute, I'm about to have my baby. He called you and was like, well, hold on. Bitch, I can't come to that episode. My, 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 new, my bitch giving birth, my real bitch giving birth, child. You see? You see, <laughs> I can't. So, when you announce my husband, P, there's no need for you to mention his past because these rappers is rapping about shooting and killing every day. These rappers is out here every day talking about guns they ain't never held, guns they ain't never bust. Okay? Mm. So. Pendy Pinson? Ah. Uh, I'm 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 done. I'm done. Do you mention Gucci man's body every time you 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 mention him? Or when you discussing his wife, do you mention his man down, his charge? Three times, three times in a row, bitch doing a show, acting like she fucking stuttering John. Talk about, is it manslaughter? What does that mean? What does that mean? What does manslaughter? Is that, does it mean that you actually killed somebody? Does it mean that you murdered? Bitch, where was you at when Kevin had his dick knee deep in that bitch Punani? <laughs> and it's not about, about you doing your job. There are people who report the news and there are people who do it with an evil intent in their heart, viciousness. And I pray for you because I know you're hurting and I know you must be sick and humiliated. Okay? I pray for you. Because I let it go when you had to tell the audience, you know, whatever he had to do time for. I let it go. But every time you mention him, you feel the need to bring him up. You, you feel the need to bring these things up. As well as something that he was wrongfully accused of doing when he was 15 years old. Well, because he didn't have $7,000 to get himself bailed out. Because when you in the hood at 15, you don't have that kind of money. Neither does your family. And when the alleged accuser wrote a, a, a letter to the judge asking to take it, take the, recant these statements, she was told that she would go to jail for 90 days, allegedly, if she recants the statement. But white is right.
But I didn't know that in our society, you have to be plagued by your past. I didn't know that people can't turn over a new leaf. I didn't know that your viciousness and evilness was this deep-rooted, this deep-seated. But I understand why now. When a, wo when a woman isn't really being loved at home, the viciousness is a different type. So I really wanna, wanted to pray for you today. Because look at where you are now in your life. Look at what age you are. You sat up there being vicious all this time and paid for that man's mistress for all these years, child. You paid for her, for her shopping sprees. You paid for her hotels. You, bitch, you probably even paid for her GYN bills, bitch. You paid to have that baby delivered, ho. How you doing? Stupid. Wake up, hoes! I want to know what you was doing when that motherfucker dick was knee deep in that pussy. Because, bitch, I don't want to imagine you without that wig on your head. And that's why he ran. <laughs> That's why. That's why. And I was one of those black women supporting you when that came out. I was one of those people saying, forget what she said about me in the past. Let's all surround her and now, and now support and uplift her. And we won't talk about you wanna be queen radios who dying to get my attention, who dying to get me to say y'all name. Y'all know y'all will never get said because y'all are peasants. Pendy and peasants. Okay. <laughs> y'all dying, y'all dying of thirst, child. I was really one of those people, you know, rooting for you at the sober living home, at, you know, just because I know we're human first. We're human before we're celebrities. We're human before we're personas. And I know that, that you must have gone through a lot. But you are demonic. And that's why this stuff unfolded. If I were you, I would go and pray, ask for forgiveness. You can, you can report the news. People do it all the time, report the news without the level of viciousness and trying to play dumb and doing all this nonsense. I mean, I watched you do that to Beyonce for years and I could never for the life of me figure out why. Like, what does this woman have against Beyonce? Like, it's sickening to watch. But I remember I was somewhere with Nas and you walked up to him and said, you acted like you didn't see me and then you said to him something about, Oh my God, why are you with her? I don't like her. And you said you and Kevin had spent the whole morning playing Nas. Bitch, Kevin wasn't playing Nas. Kevin was knee deep in that pussy. You was playing Nas, bitch. <laughs>